talking, he's here, I'm transferring and I'm, I have a se second hand with a knife. Skin, this is already cutting. He grabs it with two hands, doesn't matter, also. You constantly can cut. And each time I do something like that, it's already cut. It's already cut. It is something you don't want to have. So, so this is not considered as a good solution because the wrist is still moving. Now, how would you do? So, you know, if I go this way and you've learned, how would you learn? Yeah, you learn to take the 90 degree hand. But first, let's see which hand. So, this one. Yeah, we learned something like that. But even so, it's, you can transfer. It means you can transfer the knife to the second hand. I'm attacking, he's here, I'm transferring, and I'm, I have a se second hand with a knife. This is very common as well. So whenever he's doing that, he needs to grab the knife as well, so I cannot transfer it. If I would transfer it, you see I'm already risking both of my hands, so I cannot really, I cannot really release the trap. I can try to, but I can cut my own fingers. So it's a little dangerous. So, you want to do it in such a manner that really the knife is being held properly before you are releasing it. So this is a way, because here, even he grabs, grabs also the knife, it's a little hard for him to maintain the grip, and so I can. So the chances with somebody who knows how to fight with a knife are staggering that you will succeed. It's very difficult. And at all, if I'm attacking and he's protecting himself, so I immediately, I'm immediately cutting. Means, you see, this is, this is a classical way of cutting his own hand. You understand? Take a real knife, you see the results. Now, despite that, what he does is nice. So now we want to learn only one little thing. We want to, as he's attacking, we want only to slap the hand. He goes off this way. So what am I doing? I'm only staying for a very short time. Only a very <coughs> short time. Because if I stay longer, he's pulling. If I stay longer, he's pulling. As he draws his hand back, you draw your hand back. That's it. Okay? He attacks. And I stay, he will cut. You understand? I stay, he will cut. So the only way is this way, yeah, this way. So you need to read the movement from where it comes. Now we go from inside here and outside there with this hand. Not outside here and inside with that. You see, only the other hand. The other hand. This is clear? That's the first game. Go ahead, play with it a little bit. You get used to it. There with my legs. I go away. It means I do not want to go here when he attacks to the with his uh, from the right to left. Because it's stupid. You understand? So as I go here, I go outward. Outward. Outward from his attack. He continues to the slashing, then I need to go again, not to the same direction where the knife comes, but away from where the knife comes. Is this clear? So first of all do that. You understand? Right. I put my second hand. Now he would, from here he continues, and that is when I can think of trapping. Yeah. Why? Because then I'm actually, uh, let me explain it. See, I swing it and I stop it. But as I stop it, I can go and trap back towards him, whatever I do, whatever technique it is. Now it's not sicher, but you see here, and I bring it to this position where I can still uh, counter very much like this. If he pulls the hand and I keep my hand, he will cut it. So I have to immediately do something else. Now in this maneuver, like that, I can trap the Mesa and his hand. If I do it too much here, I don't have enough control. But if I do it correctly here, then he will bring second hand, but he won't be able to have it. So I would be able to get rid of the control. 